Hello everybody, in this video we will learn how to install Wireshark on a Windows 10 machine or Windows 10 operating system machine. First of all we need to download it and what I'm gonna do I will just go to Google and try to find Wireshark. It's good to mention before that Wireshark started as a project back in the 90s and uh, it, it used to be called uh, Ethereal and I remember when I used to play with it in the beginning it was almost like very initial text mode and the graphical interface was so hard to capture the traffic but the idea was very interesting and have a lot of options open right now so as you can see it, it you can find the wireshark.org you can go to download and my system here it's windows uh, uh, 64 bits so we're gonna use this one and it will go to download as you can see in this browser I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge so we'll go to open the file it tells me to go starting from the installation progress here just minimize the explorer because I don't need it anymore for this task it tells me what the text consists of the three park if you go back again here it just tells you that the wizard to install it it tells you what the three legal parts it need and it will be based on uh, uh, WinP cap which is packet capture make sure when you install here that first of all you have the t-shark installed check the plugins if you need to move something in the tools um, if you the record pcap merge pcap you're gonna use it and if you scroll down a bit here you can see if you need a utb dump or a, a round packet dump it's additional packets if you will need to install it as well as android dump if you will need to these packets so i will use the defaults here and as you can see in the tool this is what we just discussed here and you can click next it will tell you where to put I will usually like to see the uh, the icon on the desktop so and I will put the associated file which is a pcap file this is what you need to make sure that pcap and uh, pcap ng which is the pcap next generation package basically this is what we mostly use trace for the uh, for the uh, packet tracing and the l cap this is a pass or if you want to change i will just keep it as default for the demonstration the np cap this is what i told in the next generation pcap yes please should be installed you want to see the usb dump. this is if you want to monitor the traffic that goes through the usb connection in my case i don't need it right now so i just will keep it by default uninstalled and it will take a moment till the installation happens okay it, it agrees with the license of the np cap if you want to restrict only administrators it's fine i can use that but in our case we use the um uh, guest account so i can let it be if you have a wi-fi or raw adapter you can install this one or you install the pcap in, in a, a um, api compatibility mode just leave the default and go for the installation If you can show the details you can see all the files they are installing here just to instead of looking only the, on the green bar click next then finish it just, just unzips all these files and you can see the icon here on the left for the wireshark appeared
When it's complete, click next, finish. That's it. This is how we install the Wireshark. The next step here is to run the Wireshark. Just click on the icon. It will give you this beautiful interface. As you can see, it tells you all the network connection. Just to make the mapping here, I will open the CMD with the command prompt. And I put an IP config slash all. You can see all the network adapters here, the Ethernet, the IP configuration. And here, if you can see, this is the other connection of the uh, virtual machine because the sandbox itself is a is a actually a virtual machine remote that you connect remotely to it. And the Ethernet zero, which is here, as you can see, this is the name of the interface we have in our console. And this shows you the activities that goes and the packet trap uh, capturing. I will just make some activity. I will open the Explorer here in a minimized mode. And you can see on this small waveform how the connection will go. I will just will go to google.com. I can see the activity started. I can open something like YouTube. And you can see the activity even more. If you put any video, I just will open any arbitrary video happens here. For example, it's something to do with McDonald's French fries and I feel a bit hungry. So let me look at this one. The ads goes and you can see how the activity goes. Anytime you want to capture, you can go here and you start capturing the package on this icon of the of the logo give it a moment and you will start to see the package goes in and out Whenever you go again from the start here, it tells me no packet capturing. Why? Because I didn't choose which which file I'm gonna get it from. So we can switch to the capture options. To do that, you go to the Ethernet zero here, and after you select it, you start the capturing. Now we can get the picture capture the capture of the packets, and you can see how they jump with the protocol listed here the UTB because most of the what we're seeing here is a video this why you can see a lot of UTB and TCP as you can see right here I will give it like a moment here till it captures yeah look how pretty it is yeah anyway so I will just stop my traffic here minimize it and go to our shell put stop we already have now some traffic. Let me maximize this window so you can see what we have. At the top here, you can see every packet starting by the ID, the time, the source IP, destination IP. If you notice, this is the IP of my machine because whenever I put the TCP, uh, whenever I run the IP config, this is the IP that we have. And you can see it as a source IP listed here. And here you can see all the uh, destinations IP that we have for this communication and it tells you which port to which port and the length of the traffic very interesting information if you click on any of these packets you can see actually the listing of the packets inside starting with the uh, source number uh, the version number and the IP of the host IP of the destination and so on and this is the text representation of it a uh, very useful tool to to master and there's a lot of a lot of options here starting from uh, other than the caption whenever you go to analysis you can put a display filter you can put some statistics you can view uh, different statistics for the tcp ip or you choose a specific type of filtering for the package that as you have like all of these blue are utb for example if you scroll down you have the icmp which is like a ping request that you can have here and the reply this is one the ping that we already installed before it pings from here to the to the uh, gateway and so on so we can see all the information of the capturing of the traffic anytime you can apply any filter you can choose display a specific macro 
can go to statistics here and use the IO graph. It tells you how many packets were sent to regarding with the time, with the work that is on its real, and it can tell you even the errors. The errors will be in this color. As you can see, we didn't have errors yet, so this one, which is good, and this is how you can see the graph out of it. There's a whole, like, I can spend a whole class just talking about how awesome Wireshark is. What I want you to spend some time, just go to the option, know what it is. If you're interested in anything, you can ask question or you go and search online. What does it mean? There's a very good um, documentation and so on. So far, uh, the, the last thing that we need to talk here, how to save. So you can save as a captured packet here as you can see it will be a p cap ng next generation i will save it to the desktop and I call it capture one and this is how we can have the file capture if we min uh, minimize the wireshark you can see this is the pcap file and have the logo of the wireshark as you can see here so for your assignment i want you please to reach to this point when you have a traffic on the Wireshark and just have a screenshot of this view. Thank you.